Hi there and welcome back to the Dark Queen of Kryn. I'm Baron and we are in the lighthouse in the basement. And there's lots of vermin down here. This is the deepest and most grotesque mount of carrion and offal. What could we do? We dig beneath the rotting corpses. You dig through the mount of filth. Pale bugs swarm over decaying flesh. There's something hard and black. It's moving. More beetles bore up through the mounds of gruesome filth. What do you do? Scream, flee or attack? We attack. As you parry your attacks, more of the creatures emerge from the filth. So, I hope we're not surrounded. Maybe we are. Come on, let my mages do something. Like casting a fireball. Uh, you look around. Okay, we are not surrounded. So a few fireballs should thin out the crowd here. That's good. Why do you attack again? You just attacked. Were you the only one that could do something in the last round? Why would that be the case? Yell. The mages. Let the mages do something. The mages. Thanks. Cast the fireball. You do the same. Uh. Manual. Well, now that we have it, we will use it. Let's see. Um. One, two, three, four. Oh shit. Oh well, it works here. That's what I call pest control. Well, we actually don't really need a second fireball anymore. Oh bum. One, two, three, four. And Good riddance. We end. 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 Oh, there's another one. Where? Oh, up there. Thank you. No treasure. Uh, I had not too many experience points. So we look again. Uh, let's dig beneath it again. You dig through the mount of filth, pale bugs swarm over decaying flesh, but we don't get anything apparently. Let's climb to the top then. After a disgusting climb you discover that it is possible to climb out through the hole in the roof here. What do you do? We climb out. <coughs> you climb out to the north. The air here is not much better, but there is stone under your feet rather than filth. That's probably a good thing, right? Um, okay, so we encamp and save like that. Can we fix? We can. Can we rest? Yeah, we probably can. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
Very well. You save again. And continue. I really wish the area view would work. But no such luck. So which way do we go? How about we go through here and then to the east? Uh, yeah, I don't want to go through the pit again. We already did that. Thank you. It was not funny. A group of Hydras roar and writhe before you. What do you do? How about we attack them? Please stop me behind me. Here they are. 72 hit points. Oh! That's a lot of Hydras actually. And AC of 5 is not too spectacular if you cost me. Uh, call. Ask me. Yell. Yeah, well, you go down. You also go down. Uh, more like. I don't know. Done. Aim manual. So this calls for a fireball, that's for sure. You wanna get all of them. Let's see, to get you uh, would be like one, two, three, four. Oh, they saved. Not too bad. Still have you. You cast a regular fireball. That should be enough to give them the rest. You did. First one dead. And um where how did we do it last time? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Take that Hydra. No, I don't want it. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to continue the battle. Ooh, eleven thousand five hundred experience points. Not too shabby. Ah, look who can level. Of course, we take the jewelry and the gems, but not the steel. Good. Um, so this would head to the west. It's probably where we want to go. Normally there would be a spinner in here, but luckily I turned off all the annoying teleporters. And um, if you look at that wall, passing through a brilliant illusion of a wall, you discover an ornate marble arch. From form and color flow together just beyond the archway. What do you do? We step through the arch. As you go through the archway, you feel dizzy for a long moment. Okay. Bits of wood and metal surround a gaping hole in the floor on your left. It looks like this might be the remains of a gnomish device. Um, let's not fall down there, shall we? I would really hope that. Uh, look around. Nothing. Okay. We encamp and save. Maybe the gnomish device blew the hole in the tower. Those gnomes, they're really up to no good. So yeah, there would be a door, we can't get to that because the hole is blocking us. A nicely appointed hallway. A comfortable looking study. Empty, an empty old bookcase, okay. Well this area seems much nicer than the rest of the tower. 
finely furnished bedroom. Well, you know what? Activate search. Um, okay. What do we have here? A well-crafted dining table. An efficient, efficient little kitchenette. So there are two doors in this room, apparently. One leads to the east. The other one too. Oh, I get it. This one, a large closet. It looks like it hasn't been used in years. This is where you could actually rest if you needed to. And what do we have here? It is quite obvious a wizard's labor laboratory. Though more disshelved than most. And before you stands the unlikely looking wizard himself. He is standing at an old battered workbench, staring at a model of the lighthouse tower. The light in the model is slowly turning, tiny waves lap at its feet. Next to the tower is a small whirling vortex of energy. He continues working, ignoring you completely. What do you do? We wait patiently. He stares intently at the two small models and mumbles under his breath. We knock at the inside of the door. Uh, we scream and shout. He looks up from his work and frowns. Ah, well, it's so hard to get any peace these days. I am Fastilian, and I suppose you want to ask me questions or some such nonsense. Well, here you are and I can't be helped. You might as well tell me what you want. The wizard scowls at you. Show him the to-do list, that's fun. You disturbed my work to show me this? Then in mid-scowl, Fastilian becomes distracted reading the list. Interesting. And he puts the paper down in a pile on the workbench. You were saying? Do you explain your mission? Yes. Fastilian becomes suddenly attentive. When you finish your story, he talks to you in animated tones. This is recorded as Journal Entry 10. Well, well... What does he say? Castilian speaks. Hmm, well then, I suppose it's a good thing you came after all. There's evil at work in Tenol to the south, you know. Or I suppose you don't know, and that's why you're here, isn't it? Well, yes, there's evil at work in Tenol, and Trendemir's probably behind it. He's sworn to conquer all Teladas, actually. Never was such an, never was such a nice guy, that Tendermere. The Draconians are up to no good, and Tenol's involved, no doubt about it. The Halder folk might help. Probably would, in fact. You can't find them to the east of Trilloman. That's all Greek to me. But the price is high. The price is always high. And you ought to go and find the Oracle of Tengur in the tombs of Christophan. You can't beat the Oracle for a good augury. Or and that's what you need most likely, good augury. I had the keys to the inner chambers of the tombs here somewhere. As he speaks, Fastilian searches through piles of magical implements and assorted junk. Ah, yes, here they are. I never can remember which one is which, though. He hands you two keys. One is heavy and rusted, the other one is small and cold. No, gold. Then he continues speaking. This is recorded as Journal Entry 46. Why isn't it Journal Entry 11? That would be much more convenient. Fastilian. One of these opens the inner chambers of the tombs. That should help. He glances down at his model and seems lost in thought. Then he looks up. I did notice that you have been fighting beholders. I can see the signs of it on your armor. They, they weren't supposed to be evil things in my tower. The Gorgons are supposed to keep them out. I bet they were working with the beholders, weren't they? Hmm. I really should get around to training them. Oh well, time flies. Well, I have get back to work now. You can go out by the north door. We gain experience. There's a northern door? Really? Um, that would be this one. Fastilian's laboratory is a disaster area. 
Books are piled everywhere, many are torn or burned. Bits of shattered glass have been swept into one corner. The wizard throws things about as he continues his work. Okay, there's a door. I don't really know how we get out of here. What does that do? Oh. Um, what could we do? <laughs> Grab for the edge of the floor, admire the strange gnomish debris, scream and fall or fall stoically. I don't really know. We could uh, grab for the edge of the floor. It's too late. The floor breaks away as you grasp it. You are falling. And we're falling again. Yeah, and it's again that area here. Where we have been, but this time there are no monsters. Well, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's load again. Um, are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. I think it was number letter B. Yep, we begin adventuring. Oh, I did it again. Scream and fall! <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, load, yes, and uh, B. Fastidian is deeply involved in his work and really has no more time for you. Why? So, um, yep, I know, I know, I know. And that really doesn't help us at all. So I guess we have to... Uh, that really sucks. <coughs> How do we get out of here? I guess we have to fall down again. There's nothing here. Yep, I know, and this time we admire the strange gnomish debris. The stone of the floor is scraped and gorged around the sides of the pit. Metal tubes, boards and coils of wire hang over the edges. And we fall down again. Yeah, I know. Yep, so we um, look around and climb to the top. We climb out. Okay, uh, let's deactivate searching. How do we get out of here? Is there another teleporter that would teleport us somewhere? Oh yeah, there's another one. Teleported to location 5. Awesome. Yeah, we take that. Actually, that's just... There's another illusionary door here. The ornate marble archway opens into an incomprehensible world of swirling mists and half-seen shapes. What do you do? We step through the arch. And we are again dizzy for a moment. You are looking at the remains of a shattered teleporter. And luckily, we are now back on the first level. So if we just move around here and um, then around here and see there's the door. Good riddance! We leave. And return back to uh, the hamlet of Hisden. Yeah, of course. Well, that was a truckload of videos exploring the lighthouse. Holy shit. So first things first. We should get some training, I think. 
I was here. Yep, um, we save. And you start training. Level 22 fighter. Thank you. Level 22 cleric. Thank you. Level 22 white mage. Powered's done. That's the last spell you can learn. And level 25 red mage. Thank you as well. You begin adventuring again. Two gu town guards are you suspiciously. Ah, uh, yeah, we go in here. We could actually try and identify our stuff. Uh, no. View. Item. What does that do here? Oh, it's just a mirror. It is a long sword plus four. Okay, as I thought. What do you have? Nothing actually. Hey, I thought I gave you the flail because it's better against large creatures. Hmm. Um. Oh, braces AC two. Now that's nice. That's really nice. We don't really need that. How about you drop it? Good riddance. And we don't long no longer need those. Drop them. I wonder whether there's a way to get magical uh, projectiles somewhere around here. I mean, I have my non-magical stuff and a few magicals, but if we would start using them, they would be, we would go through our um, supply quite fast. Drop him. You could actually um, try and equip the dart of the hornet's nest. I thought I had two of those. Well, apparently not. And what do you have? Um, I will drop the elfin chain. It's not as good. Potion of invisibility. Drop it as well. Oh, I have a necklace of missiles. How come I? Oh, well, ready it and drop it. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, we encamp magic cast detect. Oh, really? None of that stuff is magical. Too bad. So let's head to the south and go in here. A quiet empty building. It was abandoned after a small fire some time ago and never repaired. That's good. That means we can rest in here. Oh, okay. Anything new for you? Uh, what? F f level f five, uh, level fifth and seventh level spell. That's useless. 
when somebody gets level drained, I reload, and when somebody dies, I reload too. So why would I need those level seven spells? Hmm. Exit. Keep. <coughs> what do you get? No new spells for you. Oh, you get a bonus spell and a second and a fifth level spell. You take a cone of cold and a second level. You take um, another stinking cloud. And we rest. Oh, I should have fixed. Well, no time like the present, right? Fix. That's pretty much it. A merchant wheels his cart by but offers you nothing. I thought there was the exit somewhere. Oh, here. Leave the hamlet of Hisden? Yes. And since we're on that little island, that's pretty much all we can do here. So we... Oh. A fisherman volunteers to sail you across the straits in his boat. Will you go with him? Yes. You sail across the straits. Why? Oh. City of Christopher, do you enter? No. Oh, actually, we are moving around now. I get it. Okay, so we will take a break here, and we will continue our next video. And, I don't know, this is a large area here, so we have a city here, and we have another city here, and another city here, and then there seems to be something here. This will be interesting. Is, is that something? And there's a small red dot here. Hmm. Well, there's lots to explore, and what about that here? But the fisherman, you know, s carries across that little water too. Oh, we f shall find out in a future video. So, well, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.